I am here with uh, Ayad Kamal, who is the Chief Operating Officer of Aramex, and Lina Shahadeh, the Chief Marketing Officer of Aramex. And Aramex is, of course, one of the big entrepreneurial success stories from the Middle East. And they are a company that is dedicated to spreading entrepreneurship across the region, both inside the organization and working with the communities. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, ask Ayad, can you just tell us a little bit about the internal promotion of entrepreneurship within the organization and how entrepreneurship is important to the company going forward to boost innovation, keep producing new ideas and services? Right. So uh, it's very important, uh, no doubt. It starts off uh, first with the people, type of people that we recruit and it continues throughout the life of the individual within the company and the work that he does and what he delivers upon. Now, of course, throughout this, that whole journey, what actually, uh, what actually happens is we, we, those people are allowed to deliver on services and products uh, that are actually very entrepreneurial. So uh, you don't have to go outside of an organization to be able to become successful. You can remain within the organization and you can do a lot of things that entrepreneurs do outside but actually deliver on them within the company itself either in the products and services and ideas that come out from, the, from those individuals or in the delivery of the solutions that are offered to our clients and the way we interact with those clients. And you are actually an example of that yourself, aren't you, with some of the products and services that you've helped yes, shape uh, and deliver? I, yes, uh, I, I've, I've uh, throughout my, this is my probably my 19th year in Aramek, so there's a lot of products and services that I, I, was, I helped out in establishing and uh, some of them were uh, majority of the products or a lot of the products that you see out there is basically based on the demand and the requirements of our customers. So I think what is important here is that you have to keep an eye open of what the customer is looking for and try to capitalize uh, on, on their demands to come up with that, if, with that one demand that they ask for to come up and say, okay, but that one individual asked for it, why don't we just come and say, look at it as a, an opportunity for other clients to, uh, to use. Sh uh, Shopmanship is an example, for example, where we started off with one, one account and now it's a main product within Aramix today. And if I could ask uh, you, Lina, as Chief Marketing Officer, how important is this notion of Aramix as an entrepreneurial environment important to the company in terms of establishing its brand, not just to people outside the organization, to people within the organization? Yes. Now, um, talking about entrepreneurship, I think uh, one of the main things that Aramix did is that the, the company is designed by design, the structure of the company is built or developed in a way where it enables entrepreneurship in terms of empowering uh, uh, our employees and our frontliners in terms of giving them the space to innovate and to have that sense of accountability and ownership where each and every employee is a brand ambassador on his own. Each and every employee reflects the brand and, and is, um, is, a, is a personification of what the brand is, is all about um, from the culture to the mindset to the approach. So that's definitely extremely important. The more ownership you give to your employees, the more they believe in the brand and the more they reflect the brand, not only during the working hours, but during their lives and during the, their days. And you have a very, very decentralized management structure, don't you? Kind Definitely. of a federalized Definitely. structure, if you Definitely. like. Definitely. The, the decentralized structure, uh, in my opinion, is, is paramount. It's one of the key issues that led to the success of, of Aramex as an entrepreneurial uh, uh, business uh, until today. Um, station managers, stations are profit centers they're not only accountable for, the, for delivering financial results, but also for reflecting, again, the, the, the values of the company and the approach of the company. <laughs> Empowerment. <laughs> Uh, uh, one of the most impressive heckles we've had probably uh, on the, yeah, on the exactly. live studio today <laughs> from Fadi Handel, CEO of uh, He's of heard Aramek. that voice before, so he's trying to figure out where it's coming from. <laughs> uh, can we talk a little bit about the fostering entrepreneurship in the communities as well? I mean, you've built a, a, um, a philosophy where stakeholders aren't simply uh, you know, shareholders or customers or even employees. It's actually the whole community in which you operate. And fostering entrepreneurship in the communities has become central to that philosophy. Can you talk a little bit about the work you do in the communities to foster Yeah, I, I can give you an example uh, that I'm actually uh, very much involved in, which is related to sports uh, in Jordan specific. Uh, Aramex has, uh, has established one of, the, uh, one of the sports clubs in Jordan that is focused mainly on basketball. That historically, we've been in that business for, for in that domain for, the, for many years now. 
And basically what we we look at is uh, making sure that we can we can go out to the community, okay, for people and small youngsters from starting from four or five years old up to uh, national team uh, players. How can we make sure that they can, uh, we can create an environment for them, we can create the opportunity for them to come and play basketball, interact with the community, with other people in the society uh, to be able to uh, play sports. And I think sports as, as, as such is, is, is very important for, to uh, foster such interactivity between the individuals. So that's probably one, uh, one, uh, one example. The other example is probably, you want to talk about Rewad a bit? Yeah, I think, I think Rewad is a very good example because I think how that talks to entrepreneurship is the notion that you place the power of this decision making in the hands of the local communities. So you're not a big kind of corporate coming in saying, we'll build you a new school, we'll clean your streets. You're saying, we will facilitate the improvement of your community on the way that you decide for yourselves. So can you talk a little bit about the Rewad program? Okay, um, probably I'm not the best person to talk, um, to give you a comprehensive idea about Ruad, but as, a, as an employee at IMX, I'll tell you what I know about Ruad. Ruad, as you said, is, uh, is an initiative to empower communities. We're not there to deliver services or, uh, or, or, or it's, not, it's not philanthropy, it's basically activism at its best activism not only on the level of uh, corporations but also on the le on on the individual level we deal with people at reward we deal with the students uh, 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 to whom we give scholarships as as as, uh, as as basically as business we tell them okay for you to get the scholarship you need to give back to your community the more you give back to your community the more we're going to support you so students grew to be more interested in developing their own communities, not only in, in receiving uh, scholarships. And that created the ecosystem in, in, uh, in Jabal al-Nadif, which is an underprivileged area in Amman. And when you go there, the energy, the hopefulness, and the, the enthusiasm, everyone, everyone feels that they can deliver, and everyone feels that they can they can ha they can participate in yeah. the change in the change making that that's happening there. So, Ruad is an excellent example of community empowerment. Sure. I mean, another thing, just staying on marketing for a minute, um, you don't engage in a great deal of above the line marketing and advertising, and a lot of your a lot of your marketing is producing full leadership materials like the Explorer, and the last Explorer just happens to be all about what we're seeing today, entrepreneurship in the Middle East. What kind of response have you had from that from your customers? Uh, about the Explorer? About the Explorer, Navigator, the, Navigator. Your, your kind of range of publishing materials Excellent. that talk about this. As you, as you said, uh, Eddie, uh, we're a non-advertising driven company. We believe that we, be we build our equity, our brand equity, through engaging with our customers and our stakeholders through experiential branding and thought leadership, through delivering content that our customers and our stakeholders can benefit from, can read, consume, and recycle. And this is exactly what the, the this is the notion of the, of the Explorer as a magazine. It's not a company newsletter. It doesn't only talk about Aramix. It talks about all the initiatives that are relevant to the concept of the theme that we're talking about. And when, it, when we talked about entrepreneurship, what we try to do is to profile emerging and the, and the budding um, uh, entrepreneurs, not only in the Middle East, but also in, in, in emerging markets in general. Um, it was a beautiful profile of, of, of great success stories and, and um, hopeful entrepreneurs. The, the, the feedback that we got was excellent from all stakeholders, not only customers. And um, thank you for our, your help with the explore. <laughs> If I can move on, you're, you are a, a partner in Wanda. You're one of the you're one of the institutional partners in, in building this platform. Right. This got hopefully going to inform and engage and inspire a new generation of Middle East entrepreneurs. Right. Um, can we just explain a little bit about why you a why you're here at the conference and also why you believe this is a cause that, that you want to put your energy and commitment behind? I think it has to do with us as an organisation that has been successful over the many let's say last 28 years and started off as an entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneurial idea and is now in reality in becoming one of the leader, leading logistics companies that we have, an, we have a, a duty and we have an obligation to give back to the society and help the people who, who, who the same experience that we've been through over the many years 
is, is to help out those, uh, the young, uh, let's say, generation or the new coming or upcoming companies to, uh, to actually help them with our experience, share with them our ideas, share with them our challenges and the problems that we went through so they can avoid uh, going through those problems and challenges and hopefully uh, they can be successful as uh, Aramik says it's successful. So it's, it's a duty for us to give back to the, to the community and to the entrepreneurs across the, across the region. And I think it's also important as well that we, that we can spread the message that entrepreneurship isn't a, an isolated uh, endeavor. It's not, it's not somebody you know, sitting inventing something. Entrepreneurship is, is more about how you actually engage as a business with, with everyone around you, how you innovate, how you treat your employees. It's all about creating the right culture. And I think that um, you know, we're talking about celebrating entrepreneurship. It's not about individuals. The Aramex can be is an example of how entrepreneur, how corporations, large corporations, multinational corporations, can continually engage in entrepreneurship, entrepreneurial activity. I agree, and I think one of the you mentioned the word culture. I think one of the main uh, uh, main uh, reasons why we have been successful as a company is that we have a very unique culture that encourages. Uh, uh, risk taking and encourage uh, decision making is left at the front line and encourages people to interact and brainstorm and come up with ideas and you know you can come up with an idea not might be a, a right a good idea but try it out it might be successful it could not might be successful but at least you have tried it out and, and, and moved on so I think the culture itself and the environment within the company encourages people to be creative and going out and soliciting uh, new concepts and ideas. Okay, and there's finally a question for you. Obviously, you're here for the whole two days. We've, we've almost at the end of day one, which has been an incredibly uh, energized and, and remarkable day, really, in many senses. We, we, this is really kind of a landmark achievement. From a marketing perspective, what has it meant to you to see this kind of energy, and how does that tie in with what Aramex stands for as an organization? First of all, um, from a marketing perspective, of course, as you can see, I mean, uh, you don't see any branding for Aramex, you don't see Aramex logo, barely you can see it somewhere, yes, there's well, one. That's, uh, that's, that's, the wrong that's, 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 yes. That's for shipping. That's for shipping. <laughs> um, word of mouth and uh, uh, the audience believing that, that um, a company like Aramex really believes and truly believes in, in uh, entrepreneurship and supporting entrepreneurs. This is, I mean, this is, this is, this is real, this is authentic. It goes way beyond PR and goes it's what way you do. It's just simply what you do. It's exactly. not an extraneous part of your business. Stem, stemming from the fact that we started as an entrepreneurial uh, initiative. Um, th I mean, so it's close to our heart and we know that this is the way um, our, our, our communities and our economy can go forward. Anything you hope to learn in your, in, the, in your days here? Anything you hope to learn or bring back to the organization that you've seen that you think would be useful to you? Well, I think it's not only for me, but I think for every, uh, every attendee here, this, this event signifies that there is a, an ecosystem that is being built for entrepreneurs. It means that every student here who might have an idea or might not have an idea can actually think and, and, and uh, be more courageous about venturing into new businesses. Um, the, the energy is excellent, as you said. It's amazing. And um, it's, it's the right time. If you have an idea, it's the right time. You have the, the, the support system and the ecosystem is being built right now. So it's the right time to capture the... It's the right time. Yes. That's a great way to wrap it up. Thank you very much indeed, both yes. of your time. Lina Shahadeh, thank you very much indeed.